Ah, you be who? It's a madam. Open the gate. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Uh -huh. eh, organo day. Are you are you okay? What do you mean by organo day? O organo say you they come. What kind of stupid question is that? I just want to know. Oh, no. Shh. Me. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, my love. You help me with this word. I said, what are you doing here, Nancy? You're saying, oh, it's all the answer to my question. But you know I missed you. Hey, my friend, answer my question. What are you doing in my house? Because I remember I've told you several times to stop up. Coming to my house. Is this how you wake up your sugar pie? Stop seeing me, Nida Yala. Why? Why did you ask me to stop coming to your house? Oh, baby, come off it. Have you forgotten all we shared in the past? You know that is not possible. Who is this? Oh, is it because of this? This thing that you dish me? Babes, I thought you said you've parted ways. What is she doing here? Uh, yes, so my dear, maybe she was just passing by and got the fragrance of me and maybe decided to peep into my house, which I've warned her several times to stop coming here. I've warned her several times. You know it's not hey, possible. Hey, I, I, you I, cannot I, stop me from coming to your house. I, 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 I think you're about going now, right? I go nowhere. Osikini. You heard me right. This is our house, our home. A sim go. Babes, I'll be in the room. Such as. Hey, hey, hey! Where do you think you're going to sleep? What? To my bedroom. You must be mad. Can you imagine, baby? She's going to the room. Our room. Get out of this house. I'm going nowhere. Nancy, leave this house. Now. Baby, this is our house. I'm going nowhere. Nancy, Baby, your time please. has expired. Leave this house. <laughs> no! 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 Nancy, be careful with me. Nancy, I warn you again. I do not want to see you in this compound again. Nancy, if I see you, Nancy, I will kill you. Take it from me. I am serious this time around. Don't play with me. Offa! Offa! Sir! Come here. Now listen to me. Take this thing out of this compound. I do not ever want to see her foot inside this compound anymore. Or for if I do, I am going to sack you. Then I will arrest you and lock you up in the police cell. You remain there and suffer the rest of your life. Do you get me clear? Police, I don't want to lose this job. I like this job past my life. I no job anywhere in this country. I see be now. Move!
my love. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry that you had to experience that. I'm sorry. She is a drama queen. And I'm wondering how come a handsome man like you could end up with such a lunatic? Uh, my dear, oh, I don't know. Maybe that was during the days of my ignorance. Okay, but now I'm wise enough. Yes. And the evidence is you. Pretty you. This is not happening. There is no way. There is no way that that thing, that presence, would take over my man. It's not possible. I will never, I will never allow that fool rejoice over me. It will not happen. Not when I'm still alive. I'm going to teach her a very big lesson. I'm going to show her that Collins belongs to me. Collins is mine. It's mine. Mine alone. Mine alone. Ademola, how are you? Fine, fine, how are you? Very well, sorry for keeping you waiting. It's alright, I understand you are busy. What is that thing you said you want to discuss with me? I want to divorce my wife. I'm really tired of all our excesses. I don't think I still want to continue with the marriage. I want to be out, out of everything. I want to have my peace again. Why do you want to divorce your wife? Pastor, my wife Fen is always busy with her company work, which has made her to deny me my conjugal right as a husband. I must mm. tell you this. In our three years of marriage, I don't think I've made out with my wife up to ten times. And so if I, if I understand you very well, you said you want to divorce your wife because she's not performing her conjugal duties. Yes. Ah, oh, Mr. Demola. You are a believer. And as a pastor, I need to cancel you accordingly as a believer. If you divorce your wife, I marry someone else, you're automatically committing adultery with a woman. As a believer, the last thing you should be thinking about is 
divorce. Mr. Demola, the Bible says in the book of Hebrew, chapter 13, verse 4, that marriage should be honored by all and bear on defied. For God will judge every adulterer and every sexual immoral. I would advise you to tell your wife to come and see me and I believe after talking to your wife there will be changes. Thank you very much. You're welcome. I will do as you have advised. It's okay. Let me pray with you. Thank you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Father, commit your son unto the able hands. What is the meaning of this? Why? You think you have won, Abby? You think you have won? But let me tell you, you can never take my man from me. What? What, what did you just say? Man? You know, one will think you calling this man that he has slided a ring on your finger. So let me ask you, where is your African dignity? Shut up your mouth! What do you know about dignity? Who cares talking about dignity when you're sneaking in my man's bed? I thought royalties are supposed to be virgin to the time of their marriage. What happens to yours? How many abortions have you done for my man? Huh? Now I know you've gone bonkers. You have really gone bonkers. I do not want to repeat myself again. Take this nonsense out of my way. How dare you? Hey, 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 hey! Get out! Don't dare it! Don't! Don't, I repeat! You know what? You are not what wasted my saliva. Take this carton out of my way, else I will crush you. I will crush you. Silly. Watch your back. Watch your back, Bruises. Bitch, watch your back. Greetings, my queen. You sent for me, ma. Jane. Ma. I asked you to get me some fresh juice. Why haven't you brought it all this while? My queen, the fresh juice extractor is spoiled, ma. I don't understand. Meaning it's spoiled? Yes, your majesty. So who spoiled it? I don't know, ma. Excuse me? You and your colleagues we will have to fish out who amongst you spoilt my fresh juice extractor. Thank you, ma. Are you hearing me? Yes, now go ahead and summon every of your colleagues. Meanwhile, find a way to get me a fresh juice. Are you hearing me? I will, my friend. Now move it. That's <sighs> mother. Princess Mirabel, yes, where have you been? I understand you left the palace since 11 a.m. and you're just coming back at past 5 p.m. Where have you been? Mother, you forget that I am an adult. I can take care of myself. That is not the answer to my question. Where have you been all day? I want to see my friend. Does that make you happy? Oh, talk to me like that. Don't 
talk to me. Don't throw words at me. Did you hear me? If I ask you a question, go straight to the point and answer me. Is that clear? Or do I need to repeat myself again? Sorry. I'm sorry, mother. That's better. Um, Prince Henry called. He called to check up on you. So after you've settled down and have eaten, make sure you call him back. Okay? I will. I'll be in my room. All right. Really, Ademola? So you took our family issue to the public? To a total stranger? I mean, I have huge respect for Pastor Kinsley, but he's still a stranger. Really? Yes. He's a stranger now because the tide is against you, right? The tide is against me? How? How do you mean? He's a stranger now because I summoned you. Have you forgotten how you took our differences to him? You even invited him to our own house. That's how I got to meet him. You said he's a relationship expert. Now your relationship expert is a stranger. Okay. Femi, Femi, I just hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, well, I'm going to see him. But one thing is for sure. He will not be able to change my mind against what I have decided to do. I mean, it's my life and nobody's going to come and detect or ruin my life for me. Not even you. Suit yourself. Miss Harry, please, I need to understand something. Why do you like me repeating myself over and over again? Is it that you are daft or you just refuse not to understand me? Which one I need to understand? That's, if that's how you want it, so be it. What is all this? No, I can't even believe that you have my number yet. You don't call me before coming to, to, to my house. Why? Do I look like an object that, 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 that can be moved by anybody or... or, or I, don't, I, I need to understand it. You see that your ego? That your ego is going to kill you. And let me say this, I do not want to say it again. Before you come to see me, Make sure that you call me. Because if you do not call me and you see me, I promise you that I will not give you that attention that you seek. Trust me, I would not. So call me before you come here to see me. Yes, that's how I want it. Have a good night. Silly. My goodness, Lord have mercy, what is this? What kind of a dream is this? How can my wife stab me in my dream? What is going on? God, is this some kind of revelation? Whatever it is, God. Don't allow it to come to manifestation. Hey! Hey, Mama! That's my son. Ah, Mama, welcome! You didn't even tell us you're coming. Hey, 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 hey. I didn't even tell you that I'm coming. Are you not stupid? Expecting me to tell you that I am coming to my son's house. Eh? That I may pay no car for. She will tell you. Barren log of wood that I am coming to see my son. Is that what you are saying? Is that what you are saying? Don't mama me. Don't mama me. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not ashamed of yourself that no one is calling you mama? Even one child calling you mama. Odiro, get out of my sight. Please, where's my son? Novia. Hey! 
tu 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 she don't need to start raising your voice, please. Honey, please, take her back to her room. Mama, I'm going out as you when I'm... Uh, you can go to... Hey, hey, hey. Don't touch my thing. Cut this one. Don't touch my things. She should not touch my belongings. You can go to wherever you want to go to. I will be here waiting for you. As for this thing, this cross thing, by the gods, she should not touch my belongings. Oh. I have her hand. Give back by myself. She don't touch my things. It has cost, cost, cost hands from the gods. <laughs> I'm fine. And you? I heard you were sick a few days ago. How are you now? Yeah, but now I am fine. I called the radio doctor, Dr. Onyeko. And he sent some malaria drugs to me immediately. Okay. Okay. Oh, nice. Hey. <laughs> oh <laughs> my <laughs> God. Damn, you are so beautiful. Igwe, you're not from now for here. Are you seeing what I'm saying? This lady is like the morning sun. She glitters. She's so beautiful. Oh, give me name here. Damn. <laughs> Yes, the beauty is genetic. She took after her mother. Oh, oh, the lady Nobala. Ah, my dear, to appreciate your beauty, I brought this for you. It smells good. I know you love it. Thank you. I know. <laughs> but, uh, Th though it doesn't befit you, but your beauty is unmatched. I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Um, Father, please, uh, can I take him outside? I want to have a word with him. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Shall we? I'll tell you. Thank you. Thank you, Father. I can't wait for the day you replicate your beauty for me. I, I don't understand. How do you mean by me replicate myself? I mean, I can't wait for the day you give me a child as beautiful as you are. I mean, <laughs> you know, I dream of it every day. I can't wait to have your child. <laughs> I mean, our child. Collins, you know what to do. You know what to do. I'm always here for you. But you need to do the needful. Yeah, I know. But you have to give me small time to finish up the project I have at hand. Once I'm done, I am going to rush back and do the needful. Mm -hmm. And Ooh. make you permanently mine. I know. And I believe you. We cannot wait. The royal family will be waiting for you, mm. my love. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> mm. So, what are you trying? <laughs> Stop now. 
can't wait. Your Majesty, I don't, I don't like what is going on. I don't like it all. My I, queen, I... let the young people be. Let them be. Your Majesty, are you saying we should allow our daughter spend quality time with a total stranger we know nothing about? What I am saying is that our daughter is of age to take decision for herself. Please let her be. Your Majesty, never! There's no way I will allow this happen. My daughter cannot marry a total stranger. I've already found a suitor for her. And that's Prince Henry, the Crown Prince of Oburu Kingdom. That I know. But until Prince Henry and his people come to do the needful to take her as wife, let her be. At least to be happy for now. Please. Young man, how dare you interrupt this trouble? Listen, my elders, I've not come here to cause trouble. Eh? I've come to take my woman. She said she belongs to me, so get out of here. Over my dead body, that I marry a cost man. Thank you for all your deceit and sugar coated love. Welcome to my humble abode, Dr. Richard. But unfortunately, I don't see your medical tools on you. You have planned to leave me, okay? It's not true, it's not true. Can you my lord? What did I do to you with this? Why story? is it that you people cannot see the goodness in me? You are simply a graduated illiterate. It's the same boy who has done so much for this family in the past. But Niche Fugia. Thank God you just said in the past. Whatever is in the past remains in the past. A girl looked me in the eyes and called me cop. What you need to do is get a wife and be the king that you are meant to be. You all have no choice but to bow at your feet. The battle of good guess, Richard, has got into this level. Okay, slow down. At this point, you need to slow down. How can you tell me to live the love of my life? No, you don't go out. Hey, to watch your mouth! Why you watch your mouth? You just wake up and tell me to leave a man that has done everything that I'm alive today because of this man. Now you're going to know what I'm talking about. Because if I don't find Ruth in the next 24 hours, I'm going to wipe out your entire family. This might lead to disaster in future. Please, I'll kill them one after the other and I'll kill you last. Tell your friend to advise his goons to release my wife. You took my woman from me and I want her back. I married her officially. I am going to kill you in your pride. I've always known that that wretched cost gorilla weapon suit. And I can forgive, but I will not forgive. Hey, hey! Richard, stop, stop. Richard, what are you doing? Sacrifice, responsibility. These are the qualities of true love. You can tell me that you love me, and then your body language saying something else. Yes, I love you, girl. And I'll do anything to keep you by my side. I'll put my life on the line for you, just to prove to you that what I feel. You forever, stuck with you forever, and I can't wait to slide.